This is the uh, seventh grade TCAP practice test, mass section, question number 29. Which value of n makes this inequality true? So I see 3 tenths is less than n is less than 8 25ths. So really what I'm doing is looking for a decimal that goes in the middle of 3 tenths and 8 over 25. So let's figure out what 3 tenths and 8 25 are as decimals. So to do that, I'm going to do 3 divided by 10, and it gives me, help if I had the pen set up, wouldn't it? 0 0.3, here's my n value that I'm looking for. I do 8 divided by 25, and it gives me 0 0.3. 3, 2. So I'm going to look for something in the middle. This is 0 0.30, 0 0.32. If I can find something between those two, I'm in good shape. 0 0.31 works, and if I put them in a nice little column, it's even easier to see that they work. These symbols do not have lines under them. If they had lines under them, it would be different. If one of them did, uh, whichever one that was marked under, you could pick that exact value. So say the one, uh, the inequality on the left, it says 3 tenths. If it was less than or equal to n, then you could pick b as your answer, because right here, it's the same thing. But all it shows the greater than or less than, depending on which way you're reading them, and it doesn't have the equal to part, so you have to pick the one that goes in the middle. Now back to my original statement about the column. If we compare columns left to right by, uh, by their columns, we're in good shape. So 0, all of them are the same. 3, all of them are the same. But you can see it goes up, 0, 1, 2, just like it's supposed to. So 0 0.31 is the thing we put in the middle of that statement to show that we can make the inequality true.